kind of ironic. <clears throat> What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ant-Man here. Welcome back to the trucking series. Except this time, we're actually overseas in uh, Europe now. <clears throat> with Euro Truck Simulator 2, which, by the way, has been out longer than America Truck Simulator, so there's a lot to explore. And I mean a lot. Speaking of which, how, how much longer do you think until the DLC runs its course? Because <clears throat> this game's been running since 2012, and they still got quite a bit to go, though not much as America. Like, for example, um... <clears throat> They had a Russia DLC planned a couple years ago, but they put that on the shelf when Russia invaded Ukraine. Fucking Putin. Um, I wanted to wait until Greece was um, uh, released before I came back to, or came to this, but uh, honestly, I got that itch, so I just decided to go with it anyway. Uh, in addition to that, there's also Ireland, which I'm honestly shocked hasn't made it into this game yet, though I hope it will soon. And I have no idea about Ukraine here because of the, you know. <clears throat> but anyway, as you can see, I've pretty much been all over Italy because, you know, Josh Reich's uh, country. I don't live in his hometown because, um... Well, unfortunately, it couldn't be in the game. It's around this area, that much I'll say. I won't say where it is. <clears throat> but uh, I'm based in Bari, I think it's pronounced, Italy. And uh, I asked him what route I wanted to take in my debut episode of this game. He said he wanted to go from, <sighs> excuse me, Bari to Rome. I, ha after a bit of experimenting, I do have something similar. <clears throat> so, let's see here. Okay, as you can see, there's no job to Rome, but there is this one to Taranto, and in Taranto, there is this job that leads to Rome. So, yeah. We'll start with, we're actually doing two jobs. Because Josh really wants to see how faithful this is to his actual home country, so... My friend, if you're watching this, hope you enjoy it. <clears throat> and let me know in the comments what details they got right, and what, and what they might have gotten wrong. Just remember, this is on a smaller scale. It's like a 1 to 20 scale. I think, if I remember correctly. Anyway, enough jibber-jabber. Let's get to it. Oof, that looks nice. And god damn, my computer's powerful if I can load that fast. Okay, it's kind of dark, but if you look at the clock on the bottom right, it is about to... the sun is about to rise. By the way, opinions on the truck? Actually, before I... While I'm on that, what do you think of the new menu design? This design was added to American Truck Simulator as well, and, uh, wow, it's, uh, quite different. And this is actually pretty cool right here. You can see the regulations and whatnot. Uh, there's a quick menu for ease of access, just like with, uh, typical computer tabs and whatnot. <laughs> <clears throat> I guess my only gripe is that they, is the drive button isn't that circular button. I actually kind of liked that. <laughs> but whatever. <laughs> but yeah, I had to go with the American Statue of Liberty paint scheme because come on, American. Now, with that out of the way. Whew. Lights on. Handbrake off. Okay, first we go to Toronto, then to Rome. Hope you're ready for the ride, Josh. Let's go. By the way, I'm actually right in my garage. Like, my home garage. Here we go. 
By the way, I'm not going to lie, those condos do remind me of Josh's place. Like, I have seen his place, they do look similar to these, in my opinion. Sometimes it cuts off automatically, I have no idea why. Okay. By the way, I did think about using the webcam for this, but, uh, nah, it would have caused my frame rate to dip, so no luck on that. Surprisingly, the frame rate on this one looks, uh, just a tad better than the American one, which is kind of a shocker. Then again, I did adjust the settings a bit. By the way, Josh, I'm not used to roundabouts, so let me know if I do this correctly. Like, if I did that correctly, let me know, because I'm not used to roundabouts. And what the hell? It seems like I always find myself coming here. Like, this depot is the very first one where I got my very first job in this game. And now I'm coming here for my first ever recorded job. Wow, it comes full circle. Alright, hopefully I didn't waste too much time. Because if but that time limit expired... Nope, still there. Um, what kind of adjustments can I make? Because sometimes, if you take a bigger trailer, you can get bigger rewards, because, you know, more product. <clears throat> oh... Let's go with this one. Okay, let's see, what is it? Steel cords. Okay. You know, I'm always curious about this. Okay, it's right there. Whoop! Ugh. Close call. See? Ooh! Okay. Oh, that's out of the way. By the way, I'll cut the music on when we hit the main roads. With that out of the way, now that we're hooked up, let's hit the road. <laughs> oh, little frame dip right there. Actually, you know what? I'll wait for the... Hmm. Okay, now Josh, we're gonna do like a three-quarter turn here. Let me know if I do this correctly, please. Is that how you do it? Because I'm not 100% certain on this. Huh, check out the Italian scheme on that trailer over there. Whew. 
Whew. The sun rose pretty quick, didn't it? Hmm. You know what? I think this would be a good time to put the music on. Like, shuffle, repeat, and what a lip play first. Hmm. A little worrisome there, but because it's from Gran Turismo 7, by the way. Not sure how, if I'll be copyright struck for this. If I do, it's a good thing I made a backup of this save. Here's hoping it doesn't. Probably pick up the pace. Usually those signs with that are cro with the names crossed out indicate that you're leaving. But uh what the hell did that say? Oof. Ooh, those trees kind of fucked me up a bit. Okay, I think I could turn my lights off. <laughs> These are all over the country, I swear to God. Not as many in America, trust me. Actually, speaking of America, the Nebraska DLC came out following my last video, and Arkansas is coming soon, too, so look forward to that. Taranto, here we go. Like I said, Mr. Ryuk, let me know how the details are. Whoops! Gotta keep my eyes open, though. <laughs> hey, he's got the same truck. Wouldn't that be crazy if you could see, uh, like, an exact duplicate of your own truck? Like, right down to the last detail? I'd probably freak out. <laughs> So you could see potentially see the text, though you might have to pause it. Okay, there are some frame dips like usual, but it's tolerable in my opinion. Oh yeah, as you can see, I'm using the uh, kilometers an hour system of speed and the euro currency to make it feel more authentic. I wonder what that means. Something about a station?
Whew. That was a little too close. Next track. Oh, it's some Stardew Valley music. Granted, it's from Spring, and Josh said that was his least favorite, but hey. It's a little quiet, though. Sheesh, this is taking a bit longer than I thought it would. And I'm sweating like a dog right now because there's no air going in here. Two loops? Occasional frame dip is kind of messing me up. This one's a good one. Oh, I need to label them better. That one's from The Sims 4. Frame dips are this bad without it, 
Imagine how bad it would be if I did have the webcam on. Whoops! Hit that one on accident. Dang, one of them has a helicopter on it. So close. All right, let's see here. Yep, there it is right there. Could use something smaller, so let's go with this one. I'm not picky about it. Okay, this is also from Gran Turismo 7. What's it called? Okay. By the way, the Mercedes lights cuts on automatically no matter what I do. Pretty cool feature. I hope this doesn't get copyright struck. Oh, before I go, what do you think of the interior? Honestly, I would love to get something like this. The Ben's curtains are certainly a nice touch. Alright, enough jibber-jabber. Let me wait for this guy. Okay, Josh, your wish has now been granted. We are on the way to Rome. Sorry, it took longer than expected, but eh, they didn't give me one to roam in right away. I had to kind of improvise. 
Oh, this is a good one. You know, I wonder. Sometimes I've noticed this. Do you think the radio might be causing these frame dips? If so, maybe I should limit it from now on. Like, for instance, maybe I'll cut it off after the, um... This song ends, and then we'll see what happens there. Woo! Oh, Jesus! This frame dip is messing me up, man! Sorry the reflections look like ass, by the way. <laughs> like, in the mirror. Again, let me know if I did that one correct. I just remember, there is a faster way of doing this. Train though. You know, Josh actually said there's quite a few trains like that in his hometown. I think he did anyway. Sorry to do this, but uh, I want to see if my theory is true. Is this causing f the frame dip? <sighs> like, let me give it a few seconds. Let's see what happens. Whew, the surroundings are damn gorgeous on this computer, let me tell you. If I was playing this on my old computer, recording this would be damn near impossible. Whew. No, the frame dip happens no matter what, so what the fuck? Well, this is kind of stupid. Well, that's kind of bullshit. Alright, might as well continue it then. Okay. Ooh, 
Ooh, I see an airplane taking off over there. Oops. Focus. Ah! You know, they had all that. They could have added, you know, something there. Josh's hometown in particular. It's kind of a damn shame. Hmm. Is it about to rain soon? Out, boss. Ah! Sorry. Aren't you supposed to frickin' yield? Like, what the heck? I'm not surprised I didn't deal any damage. To me, anyway. Italian copper, how about that? Yeah. It's a little too loud. Also a Gran Turismo 7 track. Like, I don't know if their stuff is copyright protected, so it does concern me. Uh, you know what? To be safe. Oh, this is a good one. It's also from the same game, but I don't think this one... This one I think this one's okay. Hey, it's Josh! <laughs> it looks like his car, for real life. I should have said something besides that. Like, I could have pretended that was actually him. Hmm. Tell you what, if I see the same car again, which is possible, I got something in mind. You know, all these farm plots reminds me of Farming Simulator 2. Uh, 2 as in T-O-O, -O, not the number. Actually, the game is called Farming Simulator 22, so pretty close. Me, Josh, and the boys, Anakin and Tyria, did play that game, but uh, Josh said it was kind of boring to record. Honestly, 
If, uh, if the guys keep up their antics, I have to disagree. Ah, uh, by the way, that's the district I guess you could say Josh is from. According to him, it's actually pronounced Apulia. At least I think that's what it was. Well, we're leaving his district. State, whatever you want to call it. What is it called over there in Italy, buddy? Very mountainous out here, I'll give you that. I think we're heading in the direction of Naples right now, so... And Josh has told me he's been there, I think. So hopefully these surroundings will look familiar to you, buddy. Speed dipper there. Tough luck, buddy. Okay, this is a good one. This is actually from The Sims 3, and it's really nice. Just so you can see what it's called. Take a look behind me. This looks awesome.
Sheesh! Oh, a Stardew track. Just to be safe. I like I just heard this one for some reason. Okay, this is from uh, GT7. Next. Oh, not bad. Actually, you know what? Let me do this by choice. Seeing as how it is still summer. Let me crank it up too. Coming up on Rome any minute now. Yep, any minute. that was a wreck or something.
toll booth. What does it say up there? In case you're wondering, they're playing in order, so... I should be able to do the same thing that I did earlier with this one. I might have another idea as to why the frame dips, but, uh, you know, what the heck, I'll give it a try. It'd be kind of sad if it was, and oddly it's under gameplay settings. Uh, cabin accessory physics. It'd be kind of sad if that was the reason. Alright, let's see. Doesn't look like that's the case. Let me give it a few minutes, a couple seconds, to see if it dips again. Oh, somebody caught, caught. <laughs> Dang it, it still happens. What causes this shit? <laughs> it's kind of ridiculous. Last one is called Tropical. I'll stop the music after that track. Seems I do have a garage here since the thing is there's a green house icon lit up. Whoa. Thankfully I'm just around the corner. What did they expect it by? Whew, they really did expect it soon.
Trip's done. How long is this track gonna go on for? Hm. I'll cut it off when I'm done. By the way, for the, if I come back here in another episode, where do you want guys want to go next? France, Spain, Portugal, the UK, Germany? Gosh, we got a lot of options in Europe. Let me know where I should go next. Honestly, I'm kind of milking it because I want this uh, track, the music track, to end. Let's see. There is one cool feature, the photo trophies, where you can take pictures of certain landmarks in certain areas. This is fairly new, so I don't have a lot. Like, I don't have any of the Italy ones. I know Josh is probably not happy with that, but... Eh. Okay, the track's gonna end, so I might as well. <laughs> Alright, unload. Okay, yep, leveled up, just what I wanted. Hmm, let's try. How about this one? Okay, guys, I think that'll do it for this episode. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed Euro Truck Simulator like you did American Truck Simulator. I thought I'd give you guys something to, uh... Um, stem the tide between Blood Moon episodes, because if I just uploaded that straight away, some people uh, who watch it on Josh's channel might not be appreciative of that. And just out of curiosity, what kind of photo trophies are in Italy? Okay. There's also viewpoints, which gives you, like, a panoramic view of certain areas. Let's see. Oh, I got all of the ones in Italy. Portaberry. Mount Etna. Naples. Church of St. Mary. City of Toronto. Villa San Giovanni. Hm. You know what's cool is I could actually do something like, uh, this. basically view it right away. Nice picture, by the way. So yeah, in a sense, we're back in Bari. I don't think we're actually teleported there, but... But yeah, this is a cool feature that allows you to, uh... view these viewpoints anytime once you see them for the first time. Whew! You know, fun fact, the port with the uh, ship wasn't always there. They actually added that with the uh, last DLC, which was the one with, like, Albania and the areas like that. The countries that are basically to the east of uh, Italy, if you will. <laughs> Whew. My home away from America, you might say. <laughs> In a sense. Whew, all things considered, not bad. Okay, before I do, oh, hello, huh, the, the UK, huh? 
Huh, the trailer disappeared. Probably because I did the uh, viewpoint thing. I'm just gonna park at the garage I have across the road, then I'm gonna call it a day. I hope you guys are enjoying this series, despite the unfortunate uh, frame rate dips. I can't help it. I don't know what the hell's causing it. It could still be too hot for my computer to handle, but it's weird. It usually doesn't dip when I'm not recording. Sheesh. Oh! My dumbass. Might need to get that looked at. Still, hope this was fun for y'all, and Josh, I hope uh, you enjoyed the trip as well, because, come on, this is your home country. I hope it was faithful to uh, the scenery you usually see, I guess. <laughs> there it is. Oh, wait, I don't own it? Huh. I thought when it was green, you, uh, had it. Hmm. Or is that... Hang on, let me see something here. <laughs> I'm a little confused. It's been a while. Okay, so green lit up. I know there's the one in Barry, because that's my base. Okay, so when it's brown, that means you have it. Okay, so say, for example, I go to uh, uh, Madrid, for example. I'm pretty sure they have a safe house. Garage, whatever. Yeah, that's right. Okay, so green ones are actually ones you haven't bought. Okay. My bad. It's been so long, I'd clean forgotten. <laughs> okay. Huh, should I buy it? I'm tempted. Yeah, I'll think about it in my off time. I am seriously tempting fate sometimes. Well, good thing I can park here. Whew! I always enjoy doing this, despite the unfortunate drop in frame rate. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this too. I know I've said that already, but come on, worth a repeat. And, uh, what should I do next? Um, continue a trek here in Europe? Uh, go, go to American Truck Simulator next and check out the new states that were added, which are Nebraska and hopefully Arkansas by the time I do record it. It comes out in a few days as of right now. Like, uh, what was it, the 18th of September? I'll have to review that in a separate video. I mean, on my own time, whatever. <laughs> I can't think right now. Okay, guys, so until the next episode of the, uh, <clears throat> episode of the Truck Simulator series, I'm gonna see you guys soon. Hope you're all are having a good day and shit, as always. Until next time, holla, have a good day and everything, y'all. <laughs> Peace.